This is amazing. Do you want to use MLX framework and run stable diffusion in your Apple Silicon machine? Do you want to create a UI like this so that you can natively generate stable diffusion image from prompts? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about using stable diffusion in MLX. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create images using stable diffusion and interface like this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. I've already covered MLX in detail step by step guide and also installed a local large language model in a complete different video which I will link that in the description below. In this we are going to use stable diffusion to create images from prompt. As a first step, conda create hyphen n mlx python equals 3.11 and click enter. Next conda activate mlx and click enter. Next git clone ml explore mlx examples and click enter. Next navigate to the stable underscore diffusion folder. Inside that pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and click enter. That will install all the required packages. Next pip install gradio because we are going to use Gradio to create the user interface and click enter. Now our environment is ready. Now we can try a test prompt. If you see the list of files, this is the file which we are going to try and test. Text to image.py. This will automatically generate image for you. So here is the prompt. Python text to image.py, a photo of an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. And the number of images to generate is four and the number of rows is two. Now I'm going to click enter. This is for generating images without user interface. This will automatically download the required models and then start generating. You can see that it's downloading. Now the image got generated. It's saved in out.png. I'm going to click that and here is the image. That is nice. So if you see the text to image.py file, this is how it looks. It gets the prompt from the terminal and initiate stable diffusion and finally it saves it in the file. We are going to convert this to a Gradier user interface. Create a file called ui.py. In that I'm modifying the text to image file with the generate image function and adding all the code within that function. And finally it will return an image from array. At the top I have imported Gradier as gr. Now I'm going to add the interface. iface equals gr.interface. Inside that I'm going to add the generate image as a function a text box with different sliders and then output as an image. Stable diffusion image generator as a title. Next, iface.launch. Now the application is ready to run. Going to our terminal, type python ui.py and then click enter. This will automatically open this URL. So I'm going to click this URL and this is the user interface. Now I can type man in Mars. Need four images, number of rows one and click submit. Now it's generating those images. And here is the image ready, man in Mars. That's nice. I'm gonna create again, cat in Mars with totally two rows. That means it'll be created in two rows. I'm going to click submit. And here we got the image of cat in Mars in two rows. And also you can see the GPU is peaking during the time of image generation. That's it. Now we have integrated MLX with stable diffusion. As simple as that. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.